It was a pleasure to come out and see. Thank you.
the schools, which you don't have city schools, but the county can take that into, into position, aren't going to be impacted. Um, if it were a family project, and we don't know what this other project on the other side of the lake is, it may be family, it may have lots of, uh, lots of children. So the history has been, does not impact an increase in any of the police services that are necessary. And finally, with fire, um, it's a volunteer fire department situation. Is that correct? The city fire department. <laughs> volunteer. So the thing about the development that takes place, and if you had a commercial project there versus a $9 million development, it's going to create revenue for the city. He's been right that when you, when you look at commercial properties in the normal sense, the commercial properties pay the taxes and the residential properties take the service. I'm just giving you an example where I think that's not the case uh, there. The other is the question of, um, well, if you have any vacancies, and, and this, this lady here said there's no way the market would support it. In connection with the application, the market study has to be given, it has to be reviewed by DCA, and there are many instances where these things don't meet what they call threshold because the market study doesn't support it. And so that's the risk that they take in connection with making the application. And the last thing that DCA wants is a project for which there's no market. Obviously, there's, there's a belief that there is a market. It may not just necessarily be in, in Lake Park proper, but there, there is a market. Uh, but if the study comes out and says there's not, that's it. You're right. They, they, won't, they won't support it at all. Um, and the final thing is, is that just to reiterate the question that was raised over here, that there's, you know, there's somebody else sitting out there. Again, if this if this zoning was approved, the applicant would agree to make it conditional that if it does not you know, win an award this time, that that zoning would be would revert back to the commercial zoning that you had. So therefore, you would have the opportunity of a choice. We're here talking about this and taking the heat. Where is the other property owner that's proposing to do this? They're not here. So uh, that's the proposal. And if you should have the opportunity to hear from the other property owner because the DCA requires it. And okay, that's all I have. Mayor, I thank you very much. You've been, uh, I want to thank everybody.